Whoa. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. A uh, good friend of the radio station, uh, ex-worker here, hopefully. We'll come back to work some point. Uh, Joe Alvino yesterday. Oh, you were over at the, uh, the grocery store? Yeah, I was picking up my lunch. I was talking to him. He said that one of the uh, people he works with um, went to Disney World. Because Disney World is not like Disneyland. Disney World is open. and They're letting people in and they can move about. It's outdoors. Um, you know, it's uh, it, it, it's big. Disney World is big. I, I, I feel like you can't get into a crowd at Disney World like you can at Disneyland. Um, so I feel as if, though, Disney World's probably a little bit safer from a from a pandemic standpoint. And I'm sure they limit and make you wear masks and all that stuff. Um, but it was funny because this coworker went for a vacation to Disney World Went there, did all the Disney World things, said Florida was pretty much you could go to restaurants, you could eat out, you could do all this stuff. Freedom. They fly back to LAX. They want to do a hotel stay, a hotel day, they, they called it. I don't know if you guys ever do this, but you'll stay in a hotel just to relax a little bit. You know, maybe use the pool, uh, you know, no. use the facilities. Okay. Um, you know, we'll, we'll do this from time to time with some of the hotels around here. Um and uh, they wanted to do this on the way home. So they made the reservation. They go to check in for the room. Because I think by the time they got home, it was a little later to make the trek all the way up here. Where you know, you I've done that before. Yeah. I've stayed down there, you know, got up early the next day. So time. they went to make you know, a hotel uh, stay. And then they go to check in. And then they were told, sorry, you can't stay here tonight because your travel is deemed non-essential. So they had to trek it all the way back up here. Wait, did they have a reservation? Yeah, they had a reservation, and they were none of the reservation. And they wouldn't. They didn't they call said, them they, and cancel it. They, they said. They said sorry. Uh, oh my god! I you, need have, you need to have some kind of documentation. So they had a reservation. They were proof. confirmed. They were all booked up, and then they get there. They never got a call. Never got an email. Not a text. Nothing. They just show up and say, "Oh yeah, they're sorry." Show, they show up and they're like, "Okay, here's my credit card. Here's my driver's license." They're like, "Okay, we need." Uh, we need to prove that your travel is essential. What are you doing? They're like, oh, we're coming back from vacation and we need a place to stay tonight. They're like, sorry, that is not essential travel. You're going to have to get back in your car, drive home, and get there late at night or early morning, depending on what time their flight came in. I was like, wow, that's pretty crazy. What was the because hotel? When you go, um, I, he didn't say. I hope it was a Marriott. Um, he goes, he goes. <laughs> that's usually where I stay down there. <laughs> we park our car there. We stay the night. We leave the next day. And then when we come, we're doing this this spring. When we come back, we don't get in until seven o'clock at night. So we're going to stay the night. That's hey, our plan. Well, that's your plan. <laughs> you better, I better come up with a good excuse. <laughs> you better hope AstraZeneca well, and Moderna get, catch on. I'm going to have to get your friend's phone number. I got to call him. It's not my friend. It's, it's Joe. Oh, it's Joe's friend. <laughs> Joe's friend. Details. The devil are in the details. Um, it's uh, it's interesting though because they went to Florida, where it's it's a totally different attitude towards this than it is in California, and um, it can be confusing if you're traveling or if you're vacationing. Um, you know, like I'm sure if you, when you go to Mexico in spring, they're going to have a much different attitude in in Cabo San Lucas than they do in California. About. I just saw a video somebody posted on YouTube. It's amazing how you can get trapped into that YouTube thing. Anyways, and... Uh, oh, you mean just watch it for hours? Yeah, and the guy was there in November, in late November after Thanksgiving before Christmas, and he was just posting it. A lot of people were wearing masks. You know, a lot of people, all the people who were working at restaurants, uh, a lot of people walking around were wearing in masks. In Mexico? Yeah. Are in, you in trying Kabul. to lay the foundation for not having to uh, be exiled when you come back? Uh, yes, right a little now, bit. A little January, bit. A little bit. On but, January 6th, you're like, hey, listen, I saw some videos and everybody's wearing masks. I, I'm going to be good. I'm like, if I am not going, I'm not going to sit there and wear a mask in a pool. All right? That is not going to happen. How do you I like do that? to spend a lot of my time in the pool. How do you wear a mask in a pool? I don't know. I, I didn't see him wearing masks in the pool. But and if it, you're restaurants. snorkeling. In a pool. You can't wear a mask snorkeling in a pool. Do you have to put like a the, filter over the snorkel? Yeah, the mask goes over the snorkel at the top. <laughs> you have to get a mini mask. But that's what I'm worried about. When I come back, 
And we, you know, we get in at seven thirty, no. and then we don't even get well, to the hotel probably till eight or eight thirty because you got to go through customs. Based on what I was told yesterday, there is cause for worry if you plan on doing a hotel stay. What is your travel? And I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to bring that piece of paper that says I'm a first responder. Doctor, I, I am a doctor, and my suitcase is filled with vaccinations. That's what you have to tell them. <laughs> I don't want to get arrested for lying. Well, then, then, what are they going to ask you to do? Open up the suitcase and show them, and then you'd be like, "Hey, uh, that's that's uh, that's that's doctor privilege. I, I I can't do that. That thing's under lock and key, and these things are being frozen right well, now." At least I have some time to think of my story, right? Uh, Pastor Robles Ford, they want you to know that they're uh, not taking their eye off the ball, and they want you to make sure that they know, no matter what your your travel is or your uh, your stay is, is, is... They're not going to kick you out because it's not, essential no. that you have a vehicle to drive you, around They in. think everybody's essential at Paso Robles yeah. Ford, and that's what they want you to know, all right? The, your safety is their satisfaction, and right now they want you to, to let you know they have more trucks in stock than anywhere else. Uh, more used trucks, new trucks, SUVs uh, with rebates and finance incentives that make owning a new Ford SUV from Passables Ford, probably the best way to go to kick off your new year. Well, yeah, I mean, they're not going to make you pay interest on the uh, term of the loan still. They're still doing this. It's almost been a year now. It's been 10 months. For the last 10 months, they've eliminated interest at Paso Robles Ford. No finance charge. No finance charge um, uh, as well. And plus, Up to six years. And they're, and they're talking that you don't have to make your first payment until spring. I mean, you know, they just rolled out the 21s. They still have some 20s left on the lot. And they have a great selection inventory of free owned cars right now at Paso Robles Ford. Kick off 2021 in a, in a good fashion. Um, I have know, you seen the new Ford Explorers? They've yeah, got massagers in the seats. Yeah. My, my, my uh, mother in law bought one. Yeah, you sit there and it's, you know, massaging your butt. She had a. So if you do have to drive home from LAX because right. they don't deem you essential, yeah. at least you get your butt massaged. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting there on the one of five. <laughs> You're not going to give me a hotel room? I'm going to go sit my ass in my brand new Ford Explorer, get my butt massaged. How do you like that? <laughs> Anyways, you can see what we're talking about. So check out all their inventory, everything from new to used. Go to PasoFord.com. 93.3 KZOZ Rocks. Things we didn't get to in hashtag form with Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Is a New Year's resolution for the show, Jeremy? Uh, this this segment, we should always lead this segment, and, and some days are going to be better than others, I would imagine, but we should always lead this segment with what people are saying on the 805 Beer Text Line. Oh, that's true. It does get overlooked quite a bit. I, I mean, mean, there's it, our times, you know, we're, we're just, what were we just talking about? Oh, well, Florida. We are just talking about Florida off air. And, uh, and, 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 you know, we could have spent that time reading what people are saying now maybe people aren't saying much um and and it, it, we don't need to worry about it but uh little, no. little willie style says that he th- he was thinking that he needs a hotel a day to himself at the hilton away from his kids who he's been cooped up with since march hope your kids aren't listening right now little willie style um yeah i mean if you could choose a property here to go spend a day at, just to do a staycation Sycamore. for a day. Sycamore. With the hot tubs are? Yeah, because I like Sam, hot tubs. I think I do. Uh, My back's hurting. If I could do it, Dolphin Bay. I like that place. Unfortunately, it's the most expensive puppy hotel to take a vacation. Didn't they build it to be like residence? Originally, it was built to do residence. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, "Oh, we'll turn it into a hotel." I mean, I've stayed there a couple times. I get because I got married there, and been like, you know, I think they offered us a deal to go back. It is. See, I like. It's, I like it's about nicer Sycamore. than any apartment I've ever lived in, or most houses. I mean, it's huge. Like, each one has bedrooms. Every bedroom has a bathroom. It has its own laundry room in each room. It has you know a huge kitchen yeah. with an island, no, a dining a- room, and entertainment center, surround sound. I mean, it's crazy. It's like timeshare. Um, it's very nice. I like the fact that at Sycamore, there's like a hot tub at every turn. Like, not only is it not enough to have a hot tub in your room on the patio, but then also 
<laughs> you go to the gift you know, shop. Never stayed there. And there's seven hotels. And there's seven hot yeah. tubs up the hill. And then there's a big pool. There's a guy who tried to massage you there. I mean, I, all that. That's why I only I, stayed I'm there on, board. on our when they flew us down to uh, do the interview and try to get us to work here. They set us up there, which was nice. They were successful, but that was 15 years ago, and we stayed in those cabins. Mm-hmm. I've never stayed up on the hill, but I heard it's pretty cool. Yeah, just hotel rooms. I mean. More hotel rooms, less cabins. That's what it is. I mean, it's like a hotel room. You go in, there's a bed or two beds, depending on what sense, kind of room you get. Oh, and then cool. out on the patio, there's a hot tub. Maybe Cambria? Oh, yeah. I would do, I'd, I'd do the, some Cambria. The lodge up there? I'd do some Cambria. That'd be a good one to go to. Yeah, so uh, anyway. Maybe if you have an original. I see the wheels uncle. turning for a promotion, Jeremy. Yeah, I'm working. You're, 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 you're working. Yeah, that on, was where my pause was like, wow, we should give that away. Get, get away from your kids. How would you uh, <laughs> arrange for somebody to watch the kids? <laughs> I don't have kids. I don't have to worry about that. I know, but little I'll Willie style does. I'll pilot this bitch, okay? Little, little, little Willie the style pilot. does. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> the Grammys uh, have been postponed due to COVID-19. They were scheduled for January 31st. They've now been pro- postponed till March 14th. Uh, does that change your life at all, Jeff? No. Yeah, me. I don't even know what a Grammy is uh, anymore. The, <laughs> the other news I the saw yesterday. The rock category. I, I know that the Foo Fighters put up a new album this year, so they probably win everything in the rock category. TMZ reported at first, apparently Kim Kardashian and Kanye West looking at getting a divorce. They're, they're seeking out legal advice and they're counseling. But it looks like they're headed towards divorce. No use for them anymore that the TV show's gone. The only thing I could say about this is, you know, Kanye probably going into it bigger the star than Kim. Most people that date Kim Kardashian, she ruins their lives. This, uh, they got married, they had kids, and if he gets out of this, I think he'll be out of it unscathed, except for the fact that he's crazy. But that's yeah, not his fault. I mean, that's not her fault, right? I mean, that's probably... Oh, Madonna and Willie said, "Yeah, was it was it be a was it too. brought on? Sorry, was it? They got a great pull at the Madonna in. Yeah, um, I haven't been up there, but I heard about it. Uh, was it brought on? Like, did we get these stories of him having these episodes from his disease prior to marrying Kim no. Kardashian? That's what I say. Yeah, not that I remember. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, we have this theory that anybody that comes close to that family ends up getting ruined." by that family and you look at the track record and it doesn't it, it doesn't bode well for the clan i mean everybody is just man it, but hopefully now that they're not on tv sharing their lives with everybody people can afford to get close or they can get close to people and have real relationships not fake made for tv relationships like marrying kanye west i mean when she married the nba player that was a uh, uh you know career the seventh eighth man on the on the nets um you know it was like it was like a step up but then she realized wait i'm kim kardashian i could marry like a famous rapper if i wanted to and then the, she t- kicked uh chris humphreys to the curb <laughs> and then and then well, uh, wait, have, you heard, of, have you heard about that guy kanye west What's going on with Chris Humphreys these days? Uh, much happier than he was about <laughs> eight years ago. <laughs> I I would I would deduce that. I don't know if it if, if, if that's fact. Ah, uh, let's see. A couple other stories kicking around. Your girl JoJo Siwa. I should say your daughter's girl. She loves she JoJo. She was on Dance Moms. Um, now she's a internet sensation, and she has shows and sells and them a out. Huge merchandising line at Target, she's which got- I I throw money at. She got a cease and desist. Somebody did a board game. She thought it included somebody who looked like her. Now she's going after them. So maybe she's not all that nice. Also, Johnny Depp, hashtag failing to pay. Uh, apparently, he owes Amber Heard $100 million in a countersuit. Um, he's still not paid that yet. I guess that's news. You heard? I don't know if that's... <laughs> Uh, stick around. Coming up, we'll get to uh, know the show. No, I don't have any idea. What, the hell? what happened? Oh, it's right here. I'm sorry. Thank you. 
much You know, I don't have it turned on because you normally don't do anything with it anymore. Well, I'm learning the new computer. Well, yeah, new computer. Would you like me to do more? Hashtag 2021 so far. Lots of excuses. Not yet. Who's there? Gold medal in the face. Lots of excuses. Who's there? KZOZ. KZOZ. It's time to play Nova Show. No, the show will get you set up with $20 to go to Federico's Fresh Mex. They're downtown San Luis Obispo, bringing that Aloha Spirit, 851 Higuera Street, right below the Wyoming, doing to-go orders right now at Federico's Fresh Mex, S-L-O.com. Now, this is a fill-in-the-blank No, the show this morning, okay? So follow along, okay? If you recently acquired a brand new blank, you might not want to order door. I want to get a DoorDash delivery. Eight zero five five four three thirty six ninety three. If you've recently acquired blank, you might not want to get a DoorDash delivery. No, the show will send you to Federico's downtown slow. And it's got to be recent to acquire one of these, right? You can we can't have it for a long period of time. Aaron is first up today. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning. This morning we need to know how you guys doing. Oh, we're doing well, man. Pretty good. Your chance to win a twenty dollars gift certificate from Federico's uh, Federico's Fresh Max Slow dot com for your uh, pickup options. Um, this morning we need to know that if you've recently acquired one of these, uh, you probably don't want to get DoorDash. I would. I would. If I remember right, it's one of those Ring doorbell cams. No, you you remember wrong. Sorry. Oh no. Ah, uh, wrong conversation. It's okay, Aaron. No, no, we were talking about the gal that uh, wanted a bigger tip earlier. Yeah, but through the oh, ring. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then later on yeah. in the show, we talked about another DoorDash person. DoorDash actually stole this. And the person actually stole this from the person. So that, that's what we're talking All about. All right. Then. All right, buddy. Have a good day. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Richard. Hey, Richard, what do you got? What's going down, gentlemen? Hey, Dick. Hey, now. Uh, how about a uh, pit bull puppy? Yes. Yeah, that's it. Very specific. I was. We would have accepted just puppy too. Man, pit bull puppies are cute. I was looking up some pictures online. One puppy isn't cute, Jeff. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they, for the most part, they're all pretty. Uh, yeah. They're all pretty cute. I guess so. all puppies are cute. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, congratulations! You've got yourself a uh, twenty dollars gift card to go to Federico's Fresh Mex downtown. Okay. Awesome. Hey, Dick, you get the uh, DoorDash. Uh, at all, have you ever gotten any delivery service of the food? I, you know what? I, I have never had any delivery service from any of those companies. I've never even taken an Uber or anything. Okay, all right. Would would you? I mean, or would you just go get the food yourself? Well, that's the last time when I went to go actually use like Uber Eats or something like that. I realized that the company actually raises the prices on the food that they yeah. sell to you as well as charge you a fee or you know whatever nominal charge that they have for that. And yeah. then the driver wants yeah. a tip too on well, top and of the it. delivery service well, it. Uh, takes a yeah. lot of the of the profit from the restaurant too. So it's like it's all it's a, it seems like a lose lose situation. No, nah, not food. if you're really lazy. They, they, exactly. I mean, you have to. Well, how, how lazy do you have to be for? Potentially, the food getting to you an hour and a half after you order it. <laughs> I mean, everywhere you go, there's a tip jar. I mean, you go in there, you you know, you go to pick up your food and take it out. Yeah, they've done their job, but well, I, I, a little I extra. Feel okay. yeah. I, I feel okay getting food. Like, like say the, the restaurant had a delivery person that yes. works there, and they deliver me the food. I'm, I'm okay with that. But somebody else who doesn't work there and yeah. just a random Third person party. off the street, I just don't have, I'm, I can't do that. Yeah. There's just too many free in this world and uh who knows what happens that stuff <laughs> two of them were highlighted this morning absolutely. you know absolutely i didn't order special sauce yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly i open up social media every day too much don't <laughs> just don't <laughs> too many weirdos out there i like that is That's there ought to be a filter for that but i don't know how would you do it i mean listen you can't even cook the food at home if you can't cook the food at home you need to have at least the gumption to be able to Get into your car and go pick it up somewhere else. I mean, to it's make pretty sure contactless. You, yeah, I mean, I'm I'll sure. I'll tell you what my, my number one resistance is. I've thought about this so many times. I'm laying there. Getting dressed? I've got my <laughs> basketball shorts on and my under t-shirt. 
I say that because I know exactly what the resistance no, is. I have to get dressed. <laughs> And then number two, I have a gate. As you know, I have a gate at the head of my driveway uh-huh. that that meets halfway down my driveway. I have to go open that for the yeah. person. So I might as well just get in my truck and drive right. somewhere and pick it up. Because I'm already do- I'm already getting dressed. I'm going outside. I mean, might as well just get in the truck and drive there. Because now, it, what's the point? Pretty much. But I if they could come right to my front door, yeah, this would be a different conversation. You were talking earlier about I'm lazy. Uh, our friend Matt Cross. He's the entertainer of the year, which I don't Four know years running, what he's way. even doing this Well, year. now he's building little uh, Is this just stone carryover? fireplaces yeah. that he's, he, he's, he's like yeah. these little models. I don't know if he's going to build a big one, but he's building small ones right now. He's putting little sticks in. He's starting a fire to see if it'll boil water. Right. That's small. how bored he is. This is, this is um, basically a uh, requiem for a Tuesday, uh, that episode of uh, Parks and Rec, in which Ben uh, becomes unemployed and he decides to take up claymation yes. as, a, as a hobby. <laughs> and he works a week. For a two-second video, yeah, that's <laughs> about is, what it takes. Matt is, Matt is taken under the uh, outdoor barbecue. Uh, Me, you need barbecue. to take you need to take a cue from him and all these pointless tasks that he's doing at home because he's bored. You need to build a zip line from your port from your patio to your gate. Yeah, and um, and then the delivery drivers can put the you know the the food in the basket and then send it to you on a zip line. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah. Yes. And you don't have to worry about opening the gate. Isn't that what drones are for? Well, you could do that. I could probably get like a little remote control car and hook it to the thing and then run the remote control. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. See? The wheels are turning. Something like that. (laughs) Helicopter. Whatever. All right. We're out. Seth is up next. We'll see you back here tomorrow for the Thursday edition. 93.3 KZOZ Rock.